welcome back to another video welcome to the channel if you're new this is a channel fun with food and fun food I'd say. So welcome to another video, another cheat day video. And yeah, I didn't have a lot of donuts these past weeks. I'm joking, but I love my donuts. So I had to go back to Mojo Donuts and they came out with amazing new flavors. And I'm so excited to dig in this morning with you guys. And yeah, I'd say uh, let's get this party started. I'm gonna explain to you what is what while we're going through it and I think what I'm gonna start with is this. This is a blueberry colada donut. So it has coconut and glitter blueberries on top. And I'd say we'll just take And it's beautiful. Mm. So. It's coconut sprinkles on top, and then there's a, I think a blueberry cream in the middle. Mm. Beautiful, so light. I've become a sucker for coconut, really. But, it's when the coconut is like natural in terms of doesn't taste like super strong and artificial. Then I'm here for it and I'm here for it. Guys, by the way, thank you so much for your kind comments on my videos, especially towards my mama. She's so excited. And speaking of, my mama has something to say to you. So, roll it. Hello and welcome back in my empty kitchen today. I'm sitting here alone. You perhaps can remember that two weeks ago, Livia and me had a rich breakfast, a wonderful breakfast. I started then with uh, my croissant and a coffee and uh, we were discussing. And now she's gone, she had to go back to uh, US. And so I'm alone today. And now I would like to remind me of our uh, together breakfast. But today I have no coffee, I have water. And what I wanted to eat is something that reminds me of Livia. Um, you know, perhaps she is producing her own, gran uh, own granola. And this granola we already started to eat. You have a look here. Grand Snacks is it named. Another example is a peanut butter berry. The other one I have already started to eat together with my son David is do or do not. It's, uh, taste, it's tasted like donuts. But today I want to try this one. That's my breakfast today for that I can remember Olivia. But I first have to tell you why I'm doing this, why I'm here today. It's not usual because we have got a lot of very, very nice, very heartful comments to our videos. And that's why I wanted to say thank you very much. Thank you. I was really touched and thank you very much for uh, your nice encouragement. What you also told us is that you would like to see us more, that we should make, leave at me, our own mother and daughter channel and we can think over this but perhaps you have some ideas what we could do together what you would like to see and now I want to enjoy the wonderful and now I want to enjoy the wonderful cookie and cream granola Mmm. Mmm. It's good with milk. It's better than I thought. Mmm. Yes, I love it. you 
soon again. Bye. So guys, if you have any suggestions, if you want to see my mom and me on a YouTube channel, let me know in the comments down below. Also, shameless plug, thank you so much to everybody who bought my granola. I'm so excited. In my last video, I stated that if you guys want to be featured in one of my videos, send me a quick DM on Grand Snacks Instagram where you state your name, maybe where you're from, and what's your favorite granola with a pouch. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll look through that. I'm excited and you get the chance to be featured in my video, just like my mom was right now. And also I want to say guys, I'm gonna come out with a new, I'm gonna come out with a lot of new flavors, but the next flavor that's coming out is keto. So calling all my keto low carb friends, next granola is keto. Let's dig into some more non keto stuff. And the next one I go with is the mango tango. This could also be lemon. Hmm. It smells like lemon because they had two that look similar, one lemon, one mango, but I think this might be lemon. It's white chocolate on top. Hmm. I think this is the lemon lemon chiffon. It's beautiful though. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like fruity donuts are so refreshing. It's nice. Mm. I'm sorry, I've been so messy. I have it all over my face. <laughs> all right, next one. This is new, I have to try this. This is heavy too. So this is a, a donut with white chocolate and cream and filled with a Dulce de Leche red velvet cream. I mean, how exciting does that sound? Oh wow. And so I think they put like some sort of red velvet batter in this. Oh my God. Look, they put pearls in the bottom. So it's like a little surprise. That is so cute. Mm-hmm. You see, they keep falling out. They're right there. Here. That is so cute. It tastes exactly like red velvet. This is a mighty donut. This one definitely had some weight to it. Mmm. <laughs> Such a mess. Okay, last donut for now. It's gonna be the apple one. This one, I gotta show that to you real quick. It's so beautiful. It has a white chocolate cream and then a chocolate covered strawberry with gold sprinkles. I got this one for Nate. Also got my guava and cheese one, which I'll have later. And then the apple bombshelly, so beautiful. Apple pieces, pecans and caramel and yeah, and cheers. I realized I went fruity today. Absolutely delicious. Mm, absolutely messy too. Sorry, I came to watch Food Carnage. Not happening. That's the opposite of clean eating. Literally. Alrighty guys. That's a wrap for now. I gotta drink something. <laughs> and that was delicious though. I loved those donuts. They're always so fresh and soft and tasty. 
And yeah, I'll just catch you for whatever comes next, probably Starbucks. I bet you guessed it before I even said it, but yeah, I'll be back, guys. Hello, guys. We're in the car. And of course, we're going... Of course, we're not going to Starbucks. No, I'm kidding. We're going to Starbucks. <laughs> I'm so, like, adventurous, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like... Sorry, guys. But I'm going to do something different today because I'm going to have my sous vide bacon and grilled cheese. Like, I never had that before. And also, no, I'm actually going to have a drink I did not have like that before. It's the violet drink. I had it one time, but I modified it to the point of extinction of the real drink. Anyways, so I get the violet drink. I just leave it as it is. However, I add, I'm not changing anything. I'm just adding raspberry syrup to try to make it more berry, merry berry. And uh, yeah, he's getting an iced coffee. And what are you getting? Are you getting a puppuccino? Yeah? What do you think, little booby? Oh, are you seeing something? Who are you? Are you cute or what? What about Reese's? Reese's! Hi, Reese's! Are you cute? Oh my god, you're a teddy bear. Alright guys, catch you when the drinks are here. Alrighty guys, we got our Dwinkies. Dwinkie, Dwinkie, Dwinkie. And mine looks really cool. I got a vanilla foam on top of there. There's um, raspberry syrup in here. And blackberries. It's very interesting. I would say it's very good. What is it? Let me taste it. Mm. It's a little sip, sip, sip. It's a concoction I made. What is it? It's a... Well, it's a blackberry... It's a violet drink. It's blackberry, coconut, raspberry, vanilla foam. You should put that on the menu. It's good, huh? They should pay you. You should pay me. Like, I'll try to eat while you're driving. I hope you guys are staying with me. That's and I have my little... Very my little egg thingies. I'm, I'm gonna call them egg thingies. Oreo want some. It's really good. Mm. Yeah, it's Oreo. <laughs> Honestly, these are just so good. They're like creamy. These people Almost. are all using their turn signals and I'm not listening to them because I'm sketched out forever. Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, my finger. I think it's looking at me. That's fine. This is so good. Don't you want to buy it? No, I got my teeth in it. Uh -huh. just dipped. <laughs> it did? Yeah. I'm trying to drive smooth. Smoothly. So the drink, how would you rate the drink? Your drink? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to be super critical, mm -hmm. like Gordon Ramsay. Mm-hmm. It's a three, a three out of 10. You don't sound like him. I know. No, no, it's pretty good. We're it, watching. Hell on Wheels. A Hell on Wheels, that's it. How stupid can you buy? How stupid can you be? The good thing is, he doesn't have to be family friendly. <laughs> You can't cuss here. This is family friendly. Oh shit! <laughs> so I have to beep him. Like, I mean, they beep him. Yeah, they do. But he he hold he does not hold back. He smells it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. Smell it. It's, you sound Australian, my dude. Smell it. You sound Australian. I can't do it. Just give me a day of practicing. I can do it. On the point. Okay. Yeah. Please. Because you're good at other people, like Obama. Hey, liar. <laughs> okay. I see you in a bit, people. Alrighty, guys. I am back after all this, what you saw. And I'm back with some Barookies from my friends at Doe Street. And these are the Valentine's Brookies and I had their Brookies before. I think they're amazing. And this time, let's see what we got. I can't wait to dig in. So I think we're gonna start with this one. This one is a blondie topped with loads of strawberry shortcake frosted cookies and sandwiched together with a mouth-watering layer of Doe Street homemade strawberry shortcake cookie dough infused with actual strawberry pieces and white chocolate chips. 
That is a lot of stuff going on and I cannot wait to try. Let me get in the good part. I don't know if you can properly see. But let's try this. Mmm, that's actually really good. Get a proper bite. Mmm, mm hmm. This is really good. It has a vanilla, like a strong vanilla taste, but then you have this hint of actual strawberry, not the artificial type, but the actual strawberry. And then the white chocolate. That's really good. <laughs> I'm telling you something guys, this is so stopping. <laughs> okay, you should probably share these with like four people. That was really delicious though. I don't think I'm gonna eat the whole of that, but this one, I gotta tell you of course what it is. It's a fudgy brownie base layered with a brookie sandwich cookies and topped with Doe Street's homemade brownie batter cookie dough. Let's give these a try. Well, that is fudgy indeed. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's very good. Very thick. It's good. But this brownie, I want to see if they have any nutritional information on this. It's incredibly hard. stuffing. <laughs> so yeah, but um, big thank you to Doe Street for sending these over. They're delicious as usual. Get 10 people together to share one because, oh my God, your girl is going to take a break. And I don't know the next time I feel like eating, but I'll take you out for dinner. That sounds nice. I'll take you out for dinner. And uh, yeah, I got sleepy eyes. Guys, I am back. I didn't bring you to the mall. Okay, first of all, I should tell you what we did. So we went to the mall because I needed some running shoes and we were unsuccessful. Instead, I bought some stuff at Forever 21. But we're at the beautiful, beautiful area of Meisner Park here in Boca Raton and we're going to one of my favorite restaurants. Well, BJ's. Yard house, but good. So I didn't bring you into the mall because the camera didn't properly charge for some reason, but I got you now and we're going in guys. We're going in. You want to take a zip? Oh yeah, sure. Oh, it smells like Jolly Rancher. It's super sweet and good. Is it good? Yeah, it tastes like Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> okay, good. What is it? It's a, I, I'll tell you. It's a raspberry vodka, blue curacao, watermelon pucker, and cranberry juice. So, essentially... Juice. This is juice. So, essentially, it's a, juice it's blend. a Jolly Rancher. Yeah. I that. like it. Good. All right, welcome guys to another voiceover. So we went to Yard House and we got the pokey nachos and the avocado feta cheese toast as an appetizer and they never disappoint. It's, it's really great. The pokey nachos, we wondered, like we're discussing right now, like why are these so good? They come with like a mayo, a spicy mayo, chilies, nori leaves cut up with i think cilantro obviously tuna bits chilies like with a lot of stuff and it's, it was just really fantastic and the toast was avocado and 
feta cheese mix and then I think balsamic vinegar, olive oil, arugula and tomatoes and yeah we really love those appetizers. We can never commit to something new, we always do the same stuff but it was just it's like never change a winning team you know so that's what we went by and then next we had or I had a mac and cheese with bacon, chicken, uh, mushrooms and I think a little bit of truffle oil and Nate had a Nashville hot chicken sandwich and truffle fries with ketchup and the mac and cheese at Yard House are just so creamy I, I love their mac and cheese it's really delicious I also love the kind of pasta they use I don't know exactly the name of the pasta as of right now but it's one of my favorite pasta kinds yeah you can see I really like it and then Nate offered me to try his Nashville hot chicken sandwich because I actually wanted to do something else but pasta but I couldn't commit <laughs> again but he offered me to try the chicken sandwich and it looked fantastic and I'm telling you something guys this chicken was fried to absolute perfection it was so crunchy but moist in the middle and it had a nice zing to it and then they had I think some kind of sweet slaw on the bottom of the bun and it was just a perfect sandwich and the truffle fries were also really delectable I gotta use some different words so yeah that was a great sandwich it's just dripping in chili oil that's why my hands are super dirty but I really love that and yeah the pasta always great but I think what I gotta do in the future I gotta commit to trying new stuff but you know when you go to your favorite restaurants you just pick your favorite dish but yeah it was a really really good time always at Yard House the cocktails were fantastic and yeah if you have any suggestions in the South Florida area for restaurants let me know in the comments down below guys Alrighty guys, we are back and it was such a good time with uh, Nate Yee. <laughs> And we had a really nice dinner What you saw were the pokey nachos and we had a beautiful avocado and feta cheese toast And then I had mac and cheese and he had a super delicious Nashville hot chicken sandwich And how do you like that? I thought it was fantastic Yeah, it was really really great Now as you guys no, we're back at movie night and I have a little bit of the Doe Street uh, Brookie. I have a Hanuta, one of my favorites. I have the leftover donut and some chip chips. And some Oreos. Oh, no, actually just one. Oh, yeah. And we are watching a movie. I don't know what movie, probably gonna eat everything before we find the movie as usual, but yeah. The you look, you look violated. If you have good movie suggestions on Netflix and Hulu, let me know in the comments down below. We tried to watch Prom with Meryl Streep, but they sing like every two minutes. I know it's a musical, but it's a little too much. You wanna uh... look? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so I gotta update you real quick. So we committed to this movie called Zero Will or Zero Bill, and it had really great stars in it. James Franco, Joey King, Megan Fox, Will Ferrell, but it was such a slow movie. Oh yeah, and Ro uh, Seth Rogen, but it was terrible. We had to stop the movie. We watched Onward instead, the animated movie, which was fantastic. I really like these animated movies because most of them are not actually for children, they're for adults. So yeah, we stopped Zero Will, we watched Onward, and it was a great and cozy evening. Alrighty guys, this is it for tonight. I have the rest of the chips and the Hanuda, but I gotta lay down. Thank you guys so much for watching. I so appreciate you. I wanna say, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed and uh, remember to stay safe. And you have dogs, make sure you belly rub them and pet them. Aww. And uh, make sure to click subscribe if you're new and like the video because it'd be much appreciated. Yay, that's nice. Thank you. Got you. Bye bye. <laughs>